Hello, Junk Wax Investor Community. Today we'll be looking at the top 10 Junk Wax era football cards that sold on eBay in the last week. In addition to this awesome list, as always, I've included some bonus cards at the end as well. Some other sales on eBay that caught my eye that I think you guys will like, so you don't want to miss them. Make sure you stay tuned to the end for those. Alright, let's not waste any more time and get right into the good stuff. All right, starting us off, we actually have a tie for the 11th spot. First up, from 1995 Collector's Choice Update, we have a Curtis Martin Gold Parallel Rookie Card graded Gem in PSA 10 with a fixed price sale for $150. In a Gem Men Slab, it's a pop of only six. The Gold Parallel cards, well, cards number 1 to 60 were inserted 1 in 35 packs. And cards 61 to 90 were inserted 1 in 52 packs. This is card number 38, so it was 1 in 36 packs, 1 in 35 packs for this one. Boxes of 1995 Collector's Choice Update have sold for around $50 to $70. That is a new box for the top 10, so I've added it to our description eBay affiliate links below. Those links will take you directly to eBay search results for all the boxes in the top 10, plus a collection of ones from our previous videos. Also in that 11th spot from 1994 Classic Proline Live, we have a Marshall Falk rookie card graded gem in PSA 10. This card was a fixed price sale for $150. This Falk rookie card in a gem in slab is a pop of only 29 and boxes of 1994 Classic Proline Live sell for around $45 to $60. In the number 10 spot from 1993 tops, we have the black gold winner card, ABCD. This is a non-redeemed redemption card in raw condition. Sold at auction for $152.50. There's been 58 of these graded by PSA. And these uh, redemption cards, there's only 27 mint nines and 15 gem mint 10s. A gem mint 10 sold for $250 back in February. And nines sell for around $40 or so. The top, the tops black gold cards, their individual inserts were inserted both series one and series two. There's 22 in each series, and they were inserted rate of one in 72 packs. And then there was also seven different redemption cards, where you could exchange for various portions of the insert set, or this one here, ABCD, where you got the whole 44 card insert set. And if it was redeemed above where it says winner, it'll say certified. So this one is a non-redeemed version. Boxes of 1993 tops sell for around $35 to $50. In the number 9 spot from 1990 Pro Set, we have an Emmett Smith rookie card graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $154.39. It's found in Series 2 boxes of 1990 Pro Set and it has a pop of 708 in a gem mint slab. And those boxes have recently sold for around $10 to $25. In the number 8 spot from 1991 Proline Portraits, we have a Junior Seau Autograph card, which is authenticated by PSA DNA. And it was a fixed price sale for $159.99. For 91 Proline Portraits, the autographs, it's estimated they were inserted one in every three boxes. And those boxes have recently sold for around $20 to $30. In the number seven spot from 1994 Topps Finest, we have an Emmett Smith Refractor graded near Mint Mint PSA 8. It was a fixed price sale for $199. In the near Mint Mint 8 slab, it's a pop of 24. There are 71 graded higher with the highest being 10 Gem Mint 10s. The refractors average two per box and boxes of 94 Finest sell for around $200 to $225. In the number six spot from 1989 score supplemental, we have a Bo Jackson second year card graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $211. And a gem in slab is a pop of 524. And these 1989 score supplemental sets can be found for around under 10 bucks up to $20 or so. In the number five spot from 1993 Fleer Ultra, we have a Michael Strahan rookie card graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $256.50. And 
This exact card sold for $331 in July of 2021, so down a bit from last year. And it's a pop of 137 in a gem mint slab. Boxes of 1993 Fleer Ultra sell for around $60 to $80. In the number four spot from 1991 Top Stadium Club, we have a Brett Favre rookie card graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $260. And a gem in slab is a pop of 1938 and boxes of 1991 Top Stadium Club sell for around $50 to $70. All right, time to see what we have in the top three. But before we do, just a quick reminder, if you need any hobby supplies, check out BCW Supplies. There's a link in the description box below. Use the code JUNKWAX10 and save 10% on your order. In the third spot from 1992 Fleer Ultra, we have a Reggie White Career Highlights Autograph Card. Graded near Mint Mint PSA 8 with the autograph authenticated. This card sold at auction for $310. It's a Pop 1 in a PSA 8 slab. And there's one higher graded Mint 9. So the Reggie White 10 card insert set, there's autographed versions of each. And White autographed 2,000 cards in total. So around 200 or 200 of each card are actually autographed. And a box of 1992 Flare Ultra sell for around $15 to $25. In the number two spot from 1993 Upper Deck SP, we have a Drew Bledsoe Foil Rookie Card graded Gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $398.11. And a Gem in Slab, it's a low pop of only 58. And boxes of 1993 Upper Deck SP sell for around $170 to $300. All right, and top of the list this week in the number one spot from 1987 Tops American slash UK Mini. We have a Jerry Rice graded gem in PSA 10. That was a fixed price sale for $455. This card in a gem mint slab is a pop of only 16. So this was an 88 card set issued in the UK. And those sets have recently sold for around $55 to $75. Lots of Hall of Famers and stars in there. Super, super low pops. I've added that to the list of eBay search results in the description box below as well if you wanted to check into any of those. All right, that's it for our top 10 list. Before we get into bonus cards, let me know in the comments below which one of these was your favorite cards. Which one would uh, be a PC edition for you? I think for me, I like the low pop more rare parallels so maybe i'd go with the 95 collector's choice update curtis martin gold rookie card with a pop of only six and those were a tough parallel insert one in 35 packs for the golds let me know what your choice is and while you're at it please hit that like button all right time for our junk wax investor football index so football is up a little bit this week from last week. We're up to 81.4. We're still ahead of the S&P 500, NASDAQ, and Bitcoin. All three of those were up a little bit this week as well. Football index is made up of 38 cards. Here's a list of those cards. We're spanning 1987 tops all the way up to 1995 Upper Deck SP. Pretty awesome list there. Got some nice Hall of Famer cards and rookie cards in there. Summary for the week. We only had six cards with an increase in sales price. 24 had no change, they were stagnant week over week, and 8 had a decrease in sales price. Let's see how football stacks up to the other three major sports. We're sitting in third spot. Hockey's at the top this week, 85.5, followed closely by baseball. Football sitting in the third spot, and basketball's still on the bottom, but it had an increase this week as well. I use the Market Movers X app to track the value of these indexes using their collections features the app has a lot of awesome hobby features if you want to check it out there's a link in the description below they get three different tiers use the code jwi and the first month of your subscription is only one buck all right let's get in some bonus cards from 1995 classic pro line we have a Derek brooks rookie card Silver printer's proof parallel, which is out of 175 in raw condition, so for $46.54. So this is a 400 card parallel set. It was randomly inserted into packs at a rate of one per hobby box. 
Only 175 of these cards were produced, and they have the words Printer's Proof overprinted on the front against a silver foil background. From 1990 Panini stickers, we have a Jerry Rice and Sterling Sharp sticker graded in near Mint Mint PSA 8, and it was a fixed price sale for $49. It's a low pop of only two, and a PSA 8 slab, and there's only one higher graded gem in 10. From 1990 Fleer Update, we have a Leroy Butler rookie card graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $72.06. And a gem in slab, it's a pop of only 60. From 1995 Collector's Edge, we have a Dan Marino lot. This is the 22 carat par parallel. And these are all serial numbered to 500, and you get a lot of 23 of them in raw condition, sold at auction for $31.22. So under two bucks a card. So yeah, I can't go wrong with that. These 22 carat parallels that were pack pulled are serial numbered to only 500. From 1996 Action Packed, we have the Barry Sanders Pewter Metal Proof card in raw condition, sold at auction for $32. So randomly inserted into packs or at a rate of 1 in 192 hobby and retail packs and 1 in 288 magazine packs. And those are the odds for the redemption cards and that you could send in and you get the Sculptor's Proof Pewter Metal Card as a redemption. Unfortunately, they expired in November of 1996. From 1989 tops, we have the Jerry Rice 1000 Yard Club insert graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $67. In a gem and slab, it's a low pop of only 45, and the 1,000 yard club glossy inserts were inserted one per pack. From 1990 tops, we have a Lawrence Taylor base card graded gem in BGS 9.5. That was a fixed price sale for $109.97. It's a pop of only one. In a gem and BGS slab, there's none graded higher. Subgrades for this was 9.5 for corners, edges, and surface, and a 9 for centering. Gem and PSA 10s for a comparison are a pop of only 79. They typically sell for around $35 or $40. From 1994 Fleer, we have a Troy Aikman ProVisions insert graded in mint PSA 9. It was a fixed price sale for $30. That's a pop one in a mint slab, and there's only two higher graded gem in tens. So the bro, so the provisions for 94 doesn't give any insertion ratios that I could look, or that I could find, but it was a nine card standard size set, randomly inserted into packs. When placed together, they form a colorful puzzle. And then there's also a nine card jumbo parallel set, which was distributed one per hobby case. From 1995 Bowman's Best, we have a Curtis Martin rookie card graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $32.57. And a gem in slab, it's a pop of only 125. And we're going to finish it up with a 1990 Nike poster cards lot. This is a lot of three Jerry Rice poster cards. You have Rice Be Nimble, you have Rice and Ronnie with Ronnie Lot on it. And you have the Super Jerry, all in raw condition, sold at auction for $485.80. So these 5x7 promotional cards were used to market the full-size Nike posters in 1990. So Rice and Ronnie features Jerry Rice and Ronnie lot in the style of a box of Rice and Ronnie. That poster is actually rare if you find it, I think, because it was pulled soon after it hit the shelves. Because Nike received a cease and desist letter from Quaker Oats for the trademark infringement. Turns out Nike did not have permission to use the Rice-A-Roni style lettering in the poster. Kind of an interesting tidbit there for you. Alright, that's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cars were. Also, if you have a quick second, please hit that like button. I truly appreciate the support. If you haven't checked out the affiliate links that we have in the description below, we have eBay Partner Network links for various search results specific to the video. If you want to do some browsing of some of these cards and sets, check out those links below. Pretty helpful reference. Also, we got a link to BCW Supplies, and you guys can save 10% with the code JUNKWAX10. And in addition, we have a link to the Market Movers app, and you can use the code JWI to get your first month subscription for just $1 to give it a try. As always, enjoy the rest of your day, and keep collecting. Thank you.